this is called the Cupra Dark Rebel. Best part is, this car is also from Barcelona, just like me. So you already know that the quality is going to be good. It's going to be special, so I'm going to show you guys around. First of all, you got these different headlights, but what's cool about these headlights is that they go through the paint. So if you look closely, like, the lights are not actually, like, pieces on the outside, right? You have this kind of, like, chrome finish going like that, and then the lights, they kind of, like, burst through the paint, and then they illuminate, which I think is super cool. The color... It's called Mercury Drop. They had to mix seven different layers of color. What's also cool is if you go down, first of all, you have huge intakes. Look at the space on that. And in the middle, you have a piece that lights up. And what's cool is that like it kind of transitions like seamlessly. Like you have almost like a see-through glass effect piece here. And then it transitions seamlessly into the paint. Man, the front of this car looks freaking nuts. I mean, this looks amazing, doesn't it? The Cupra logo also lights up. And I believe that this is the first Cupra that we've ever done on this channel. So again, I'm buzzing, you know? Hey, a little bit of Barcelona representation is good. The rims are awesome. You have like a mix of like aerodynamic pieces, a little bit of glass, a little bit of copper, which is like one of Cupra's signature colors. And on the inside, you have LEDs that change colors. And I think that this looks amazing. You see this on the side? Like, this is like kind of purple, kind of blue. It just seems like it magically illuminates through the glass. If you look at the shape of the side, obviously it's like an electric shooting brake. So it is a shooting brake, but it's two doors. It is cool that, you know, usually shooting brakes are longer. This is more like compressed. It feels super aggressive. And you'll see that the stance is kind of like leaning forward. So you have kind of this like intake going here. And then the line kind of like pounces forward, you know, kind of like a like some sort of a predator. The intake on the side is huge. And obviously you get air, which will kind of go through there and get pushed out of the back. And you'll also see that the lower half of the side has this kind of like prism effect. Looks a little bit more like liquid. Over at the back, gigantuous rear diffuser. You can literally see the air like kind of just flowing through it. And then again, you have the Cooper logo in the middle and you have a kind of light signature that goes all the way to the sides. And again, depending on your drive mode, these tail lights will change colors too. And everything with Cupra suggests symbolisms with triangles. So they love the triangles. They are everywhere. I mean, everywhere you look, you got triangles here, triangles there, triangles even on the body. This glass piece in the back also lights up, transitions seamlessly with the, with the color. Right now, that option is not available, but it does. And yeah, at the top of the back, you have more of kind of like what defines that shooting brake kind of style with these kind of fins going out of the back. And there you go. The best part is that this car is not just a shell. This car actually opens up, so we're gonna hop inside and it even drives. We don't get to drive it here, but I am hoping to do it in the future. And the doors are pretty epic too. The car is like 1.3 meters tall, and with the doors, it goes up to more than two meters. All right, so we're gonna go on the inside, but the inside is very, very delicate. And I'm wearing all kinds of crazy things like zippers and all kinds of things that are very threatening. And this is a one of one car, so we don't want to scratch it. So I have my friend Ankel from Cupra, and he's giving me the blanket of safety so I can go inside and uh, not damage anything. So we're gonna put this very carefully. There's also a procedure to get inside. So first hand here, like this, Aki. Like that. All right, we're in. There we go. Perfect. So, all right, this is the inside of your Dark Rebel, and this is nuts. I mean, this actually does feel like a video game. The first thing is the steering wheel is super cool. So you have this kind of like gauge, like digital, digital gauge here at the front. And what's cool is that this steering wheel will actually change color. So you have a little knob here. And when you just press it like this, it then goes into race mode. You see that? So this lights up yellow. This is, man, this is so badass. I would like more steering wheels to have like this kind of feature. If you press it again, you go into like infinity mode. So the three modes are super different. So you have squared mode. You can think of that like kind of like comfort mode. Then you have cubed mode, which will kind of be like a sport or race mode. And then you have infinity mode, which is this, where everything is a lot more digital, a lot more like video game like. When you're done your little digital race, you have a little screen over here at the uh, front. And look, that doesn't look like it, but it's actually a screen. And I'm pretty sure it's a projection. I don't see where the lights would come from. 
But that's pretty cool. And what I was saying before is that, yeah, this looks like a map of Barcelona, a digital version. It's like a little bit different. It's not exactly Barcelona, but it does look like it. Those little squares. Here's your gear selector. It's also like made out of like a little crystal piece. And what's cool is that this is like 3D printed metal. And this also aligns with the spine that you saw at the front. Check behind my head. You got like glass everywhere. I'm gonna head out. Again, I gotta be careful. So like this, like this. Like that. I'll give this again to my friend. Okay. Gracias por todo. And yeah, I mean, that is basically the Dark Rebel. What do you guys think? As I mentioned, this car feels like it belongs in a video game. And Cooper's pretty good at mixing video games with reality. So much so that they actually let me drive a real car on a real track in a virtual world. Let me clarify. I was driving a real physical car around, but I had a VR headset on, so it felt like I was playing a video game. But the driving was very real, and if I crashed in the video game, I crashed in real life. It was actually amazing. It was actually super cool and I didn't get dizzy at all because regardless of what you see in the VR headset, the feedback and direction you move in is still very real. Awesome. Thank you. Wow. Si, brutal. That was crazy. You were on the limit in some places. Yeah, yeah, I was, I, was, I was trying to do a little drift on the last turn a little bit. I had no idea what was actually happening in real life. I just saw this little track. I was trying to floor it, and then I forgot that I was in a video game. 